I hope you're as excited as I am for this 16 week NEAT goal plan. Today we'll discuss about the first week goal plan, what chapters has to be done, how much you have to study, what you have to study, all in detail. A detailed, uh, a detailed description of that will be mentioned in the description box as well. Along with that, remember to check the link for the videos. We'll be solving five MCQs on each of these chapters, solution wise. That also will be put in, the link will be put in the description. Okay, and uh, without much ado, let's go check the video. Also show some love like subscribe to our channel share this particular video with your friends see that everybody benefits from the study plan these are your chapters for the first week so in bio we are doing these three chapters digestion breathing and exchange of gas body fluids and circulation chem we're doing these two hydrocarbons organic chem physics we're doing thermodynamics so in bio the entire human physiology chapter Human physiology is weighing around 20% of the entire NEET syllabus, which is like approximately 18 questions. So, uh, human physiology ke section mein saad chapters hai. So, we can take approximately each of these chapters will contribute around two to three questions each. In chem, these two chapters together comprise around 8%, which is like four questions, two from each and thermodynamics alone will give you four questions so important chapters right so this is the target chapters for this particular week so what are we going to do on weekly basis here's what we'll do uh, i've put down the list of chapters that is allotted for every day uh, for the first day we have these three chapters we have digestion we have hydrocarbons and we have thermodynamics so kya karna hai basic plan for all the three days will remain the same you are spending one hour in reading. You are spending one hour in reading the bio chapter allotted for that day. You are spending one hour in reading hydrocarbon chapter. Now, obviously, pura chapter to nahi hoga ek din mein. To hum usko teen sections mein divide kar rahe. Pehla wala, you are doing classification. You are doing classification in day one. You are doing nomenclature. And you are also doing the alkane part on day one from hydrocarbon. And you are going to spend one hour in doing physics and you are doing only one concept. Pure chapter mein se, sif ek major concept lena hai. Introduction padte mat baitna, take an important concept from that chapter. Okay, so this is how you're going to spend the first three hours. You're going to read from the NCRT textbook. You're going to read, you're going to revise the synopsis that you have. Okay, teen ghanda sufficient hai ye sare chapters ko read or revise karne, karne ke liye. Bohat hai. And the same thing you're going to follow for all the, all the remaining six days here. Digestion, entire chapter. Hydrocarbon, take next three sections. So, so that is going to be your alkene. Alkyne, here there is also hydrocarbon, hai. here you will do aromatic uh, compounds, organic, organic chemistry, in the first day you will do tetravalency of carbon, structural representation, classification, in the next you can do the nomenclature, the isomerism and here you can do the purification part, the qualitative and the quantitative analysis. So basically, we are not doing the whole chapter, we are dividing it in parts. Okay? And same for thermodynamics, there are six days as you can see and each day you are going to do one or two concepts depending upon how small and how big it is, maximum two and minimum one concept every day. So first three hours of the nine hours that we had decided you are going to do the reading and revising part. The next thing that we will do is MCQ solving, MCQs solving. So fixed amount of MCQs. For bio, we are doing 50 questions. For chem, we will do 40 questions. And for physics, we will do 10 questions. Okay? So 50. So digestion pura padna hai humko day one mein. You will do 50 questions on the entire topic. Hydrocarbon, we decided we will do three concepts every day. So you will do 40 questions from those three concepts only. 
physics we decided we will do one concept from thermodynamics every day you will do 10 questions from that one concept only ठीक है तो जो कॉन्सेप्ट रीड किया है जो पढ़ा है उसी के ऊपर हमको एमसीक्यू सॉल्व करना है दिस कम्स अप टू हंड्रेड एमसीक्यूज डेली सो बाय द एंड ऑफ द सिक्स डे यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन सिक्स हंड्रेड एमसीक्यूज गुड राइट दिस इज व्हाट यू गोना फॉलो एंड दिस शुड नॉट टेक यू मोर देन फाइव आवर्स पांच घंटा भी बहुत अपर एंड में मैंने बोल दिया है सो दिस शुड बी विद इन फाइव आवर्स so if you focused if you completely dedicated if your concepts are very strong you will complete it before 5 hours but agar distracted rehne wale ho concepts thode weak hai to shayad 5 ghante ke zyada 5 ghante se zyada hoga but try karo 5 ghante se zyada na lo to theek hai so here we've completed 1 1 1 3 and 5 8 hours so far you still have 1 hour left so this is what we are going to do on daily basis ha huh? you still have one hour left this one hour may you will focus on certain more important concepts you can learn short notes you can learn short notes you can go through the coaching material go through synopsis but go through some learning material if you have time if you still interested in doing more mcqs you can solve some mcqs here you can go through some past question paper uh, past question papers see what mcqs have come from this section of chapters and do that agar kuch nahi soch raha hai to you can learn short notes you can prepare for short notes from those particular chapters do some numericals solve some reactions theek hai so this is how your everyday plan would be this is how you're going to spend the 9 hours 3 hours in reading and revising the remaining 5 hours in solving mcqs and the last 1 hour you basically revising again if you've made some mistakes while solving the mcqs you can revise that again you can retrospect what you have done for the entire day you can learn some short notes okay this is how your 9 hours will be I will share a detailed description of every day what has to be done in the description okay but this is how your plan should be and on the 7th day you see I have not included the 7th day on the 7th day you will again revise you will revise go through the underlined points that uh, go to the, go through the points that you have underlined while you were reading Next, next what you can do is you can go through chapter wise questions in the test section of the mcq book you know there there's there will be a section in which there are some 30 questions or 10 questions which are given as test you can go through that and take the test on our website you have a 20 mcq test on the website you can take that okay so that's how your seventh day is going to be you're going to revise the entire week's plan again you're going to revise jo bhi underline kiya hai usko wapas go through karo usko wapas read karo formulas jo hai usko wapas read karo usko revise karo time bachega to chapter wise jo hai test agar tumhara coaching material ka kuch test tumko diya gaya hai you can do that behind the mcq book there will be some test questions you can do that and take the test take the test on our website 20 mcq test okay so that's how your entire week is going to be that's how your day 1 day 2 till day 7 is going to be 9 hours every day and trust me in 9 hours you can complete this entire you know this entire six chapters it's possible to complete all that you need is to stay focused 9 hours is sufficient and if you come across any hurdles while doing this while going through daily uh, practice you can write to us in the comment we'll see how we can come up with some fruitful solutions and help you okay so this was your week your week 1 goal sheet so good luck try this and we will see you again on next sunday thank you